Hello, everyone. Welcome to this wonderful conference, the International Gnostic Science and Culture. Welcome you to this marvelous uh, lesson. So this is the beginning of this path. And uh, we are in a self-knowledge course. And the purpose of our institution is to share this wonderful wisdom and knowledge as well to all of you for free in order to discover ourselves. My name is Paul Ramirez. I'm international agnostic instructor. And today I'm gonna to be the moderator of this lesson. First of all, I would like to talk a little bit about our institution. Our institution has been created in 1950. And since then we are giving and sharing and spreading this knowledge all over the world. Right now we are in more than 30, 30 uh, countries. In, in all of these countries, we, we are spreading, as I said, is this type of self-knowledge course. <clears throat> you might be asking yourself why it's important to study the, the self-knowledge, because some people think that they have enough in their lives. They have a good family, they have a good economy, and many things in their lives that probably makes you think that you don't need more. But actually, when you study, or you start to study Gnosis, you realize that or we have an inner reality that we don't know that much, that we need to discover. So this is the purpose of today's lesson. But um, this lesson is gonna be shared by, by an international Gnostic instructor as well. His name is Osvaldo Jimen. He's the one in charge of this lesson. So first of all, I would like to introduce Osvaldo. He has been sharing 
the self-knowledge course for about 20 years. He's uh, an amazing person as well and friend. And I'm so much happy to help him today in order to be the moderator of this lesson. As I say, this is the beginning of a wonderful path, which I invite you to come here and learn and let us know any question that you might have. And, and we are gonna be answer all this question during the, this, the, the process of this lesson, during the period or the time that we have of this lesson. So right now I want to invite Osvaldo Jimeno to introduce himself. So welcome Osvaldo, how are you today? Very good, Paul, and very greetings to all our friends from India, different parts of India, also Canada, I was reading in the chat. Uh, greetings to all in this wonderful morning, now in South America, but night uh, in Asia. We yeah. feel so happy, uh, as you said before, because this is a great opportunity to learn something else, something that is going to develop our internal faculties and, of course, most important, uh, lead us to the self-knowledge itself. Perfect, Father. So tell us a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself. Tell us, well, I already said your name, but tell us where did you learn Gnosis? Why are you studying Gnosis? And yeah, so how do you feel studying Gnosis in order to the, all the students know more about our institution and also the people who share this, this knowledge? My name is Oswaldo Jimeno. Uh, I'm 42 years old. I was born in the country of Colombia, South America, but uh, I had two new gnosis so far from Colombia. A new gnosis in New York, United States, uh, around 22 years ago. And it impacted me a lot because I was looking for, as many of you, uh, something else, something that uh, really teach me uh, the purpose of my life. I was studying uh, some kind of knowledge before that in Colombia, also in, in the United States, but didn't uh, fulfill me that kind of um, objective that I was looking for. So since 22 years ago, I... Uh, uh, also giving his self-knowledge course to many people in Spanish, in English, and always with the purpose to share what we could comprove, we could comprehend about life and about the purpose of life. So this is more or less a little history about my yeah, about perfect. myself in this beginning. Thank you so much, Osvaldo, for letting us know more about yourself. So right now going deeper in, in the context of the lesson. So why did you choose well, or why did the institution, the Gnostic institution choose this, this topic or, or which is the topic that we are going to st study today? Yes, the name of uh, this lecture is Gnosis as a School of Regeneration. We already know that uh, many of you um, didn't know about this work uh, that uh, is Gnosis. In uh, entering into the lecture, we can say that Gnosis, Gnosis is a Greek word that means universal wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. When a person here in the word Gnosis, uh, maybe as you said it, with um, hypnosis, that is yeah. a different word in a different topic. Uh, because hypnosis is like a therapy or a study that some uh, people uh, use in order to uh, maybe solve some traumas or complex uh, uh, psychologically talking, but um, it's not the same as gnosis. Because Gnosis is himself, that I say, universal wisdom and knowledge. 
Perfect. So we have a wonderful topic today. And yeah, what do you think if we, we start with this with this lesson? Because I, I understand that Gnosis is knowledge, wisdom, but you were saying that this wisdom is something that we have within ourselves. Because right now, for example, we are in this world that we live, we have access to hundreds, millions, or billions of information in the on internet. But actually, if we realize and we analyze the world that we live, this does not, I mean, it, it helps us to learn something, but actually it does not change ourselves. I mean, right now we can see in the world that people is fighting, that we live in a complex, difficult world because the knowledge that we have is something that it helps us, as I said, to know more. But I understand that Gnosis is a wisdom and knowledge that we have within ourselves. And this knowledge and wisdom uh, help us in our life to discover the purpose of life, why are we here, and, and so on. So is that correct, Osvaldo? Exactly. I'm very agree with you because uh, listen to me now. This is very uh, interesting. The Gnostic knowledge or the knowledge itself enter to ourselves through the mind, through the brain, and through our intellect, all the knowledge that we could have. But Gnostic knowledge, in fact, live from the person, from inside to the outside. I mean, if you analyze, if you make consciousness about the knowledge that you are receiving as this lecture, then gnosis is going to live from you as an analysis because gnosis knowledge is inside the human being. The Gnostic mm, knowledge or the knowledge itself, as we can read or we can uh, see in a, a YouTube video, any documentary, enter to us. But most important is what live from you after you analyze and comprehend this kind of knowledge. So really we need to make a difference between the Gnostic institution, Perfect. as for example, is giving the, and organizing this lecture in the Gnosis knowledge itself that is eternal. I don't know if uh, you understand yeah. the difference. Yes, I, I understand. So when you say that it's eternal, this means that, for example, the, the word Gnosis, where the, the Greeks, well, the people who, how can I say, they provide this, this work. But actually the Gnosis as this inner knowledge is something that has been with a human being, by the way, since we came into this world. So uh, I, I, I want to, uh, to ask you this because many people might be asking when this knowledge or when, for example, when or how does Gnosis appear? but you were making a difference between the institution that is the one who shares this self-knowledge course and also the knowledge, this wisdom that we have within us. So when does appear Gnosis, Osvaldo? Exactly, can. because uh, of course, the institution is related to the Gnostic knowledge. I mean, it's, it's almost the same, but uh, we can, say that the institution had the beginning, but no Gnosis, because Gnosis is before the institution, right? But this institution was founded in the country of Colombia in 1950, thanks to the teachings to the master Samael Aumbeor, and also uh, this Gnostic knowledge were uh, spreading to uh, many countries around the world by the philosopher, a master Laxmi uh, nowadays. So the institution has around 72 years, uh, mostly established in uh, a lot of countries of South America, Central America, North America. We have some representations also in Europe. We are very glad to say that uh, recently, uh, around one year and a half, two years, we established the first Gnostic center of our institution in Africa. Wow. So this is a great goal for us. And we have a more than 160 representation, virtual representation around the world. 
as in India right now. Uh, I need to think to the um, Indian people or people from India in many countries in the world, but especially Asia, India, because always when, when, when we do advertising in Asia, in India, hundred and we can say thousand of people coming to our courses, uh, Paul. This is something incredible. And that is what uh, is happening right now. Right now we have forced um, a WhatsApp group with the students uh, from Asia especially, and from India in, in especially. Yes, uh, one day, some time ago, I had a chance to share a course in, in India. And it's, it's amazing how, how Indian people, you know, how this, this aspect within themselves of discover or know more about life. And this is also interesting. I'm not saying that the rest part of the world or the other part of the world don't do the same, but somehow, as you said, we are thank, uh, we're very thankful with uh, Indian people as well. So someone in the chat uh, was writing or wrote that is loving to see the Lakshmi picture behind you. And you said that one of the masters of Gnostic, the, the contemporary Gnostic culture uh, is also a master or was a master that shared this and spread this knowledge uh, with the institution in the world. So <laughs> it's also interesting this as well. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh... The master likes me, the Maha likes me. We can say is the divine mother. Um, uh, because God has a female part uh, inside us and outside us. And um, Master likes me, even if nowadays had a, um, a masculine physical body, um, his, in, his internal mother uh, had an expression in India long time ago. So this is very interesting that we can develop uh, in the classes that we are giving through uh, these 23 lectures of the several lectures. Yeah, so uh, right now I'm watching also the PowerPoint presentation, the presentation that we have today, that it says the self knowledge. So probably something that all the students want to know as well is why it's important to study the self knowledge because the Gnostic institution bring us self-knowledge course. And well, I, I asked to Osvaldo, so Osvaldo, why it's important to study self-knowledge? The self-knowledge uh, or the Gnostic knowledge is very important to study it because as you say before, Paul, a man can know many topics of the knowledge. A man can, a course, a lot of university careers or college careers can know many countries around the world. But if we don't know ourselves, we can say we lost all in our life because the objective of life is know deeply in yourself, not only what's my name, What's my social security number? Uh, from where my parents are from? Uh, what is my type of blood? And many things as how many organic system I have. And a lot of knowledges that are important, but not fundamental, because the fundamental in life is to know yourself. Even uh, the weak ancient people uh, said before, all men know yourself and you will know the universe. Huh? This is a very important sentence and we can meditate in that sentence because uh, it's, lead us, it's leading us to the necessity to know ourselves. After we know ourselves with Gnostic knowledge and his techniques and meditations, also, we can have control of ourselves, you know, and this is very important. And also we can eliminate what causes stress and unbalance in our lives. So we can um, 
tell you a lot of um, benefits in order to study Gnosis, but most important is that we can know deeply in ourselves. I perfectly understand the necessity of developing this, this wisdom and knowledge that we have that is part of the consciousness. Uh, something also that uh, probably some people or well, our students are asking, uh, why, for example, it is difficult to develop this uh, knowledge that we have within ourselves? Because we all, all the people in the world know and want, for example, what we call it happiness. Uh, everyone wants to be happy, wants to be, you know, in a good social position, economic, have a good family, etc. And all these aspects, as we were talking or we were speaking, uh, there are things that, for example, um, everyone wants, but um, we realize, and for example, the invitation for this lesson was open, but you, we, we can see that not many people is interested in, in discovering or, uh, themselves. The question again is, uh, why is, or I don't know if probably maybe you, you speak about it, but uh, the question is why the self knowledge, uh, why we can't, or, or, or how we can develop the self knowledge within ourselves. Exactly. Paul, you touch a point, a very interesting point, the difference, my friends, between pleasure and real happiness. Because pleasure is when, uh, for example, uh, you can eat uh, a very delicious plate or very delicious, yeah. or maybe you go to Hawaii for vacations. I mean, I'll give you an example. Uh, and pleasure is depending on the senses, of the five senses, in the circumstances. But happiness is not related to circumstances or the benefits that you get from one thing to other. Happiness is an internal state of consciousness, right? And we cannot uh, reach this kind of state of consciousness without, for example, meditation, with some kisses, right? So the, the purpose of Gnosis, how we can um, get this self-knowledge is through human regeneration. We can say that regeneration, it's a word that is composed of two words. Re, that means again, and generate is to create. We need to create uh, another man in ourselves again, right? So uh, Gnostic knowledge uh, gives us the keys to regenerate ourselves physically because through natural medicine keys that we give and also the psychological work that we invite to our students to do, we can improve in our health because you know already that the illnesses of the 20th century and 21st century is the stress. The stress is the origin, is the cause of the other um, illnesses in, in the physical body of the humanity. Also, Gnostic knowledge leads us to regenerate ourselves emotionally, emotionally because we need to have control of our emotions, of our negative and also positive emotions. Because negative and positive emotions uh, just burn our energies and give us a lot of uh, pain and suffering in our life. Also people uh, control us very easily, emotionally. Talking about the sales, system nowadays, right? With promotions and, and many offers. Uh, and you buy many things that you really don't need because someone else, a system, right? Economic system is uh, controlling you emotionally and they know already that and how to do that. That is the worst. And mentally we can regenerate ourselves, knowing ourselves, 
and knowing these kind of values that are in our mind as ego. I'm talking about know in yourself, pride, anger, envy, loss, glory, grief, and many more psychological defects that we need to know during the a time of our life. That is the purpose of life. So a, a person can reach real self-knowledge through human regeneration in these three aspects. Uh, oh. This is interesting because you are teaching us that, of course, we need to recreate another man. But this recreation is something that we all can do it because someone wrote that uh, in, in the comments that I'm not late to, I'm not late to learn and of course in order to discover ourselves it's never late because this is something that every moment every moment in our life we can know and learn something more that we didn't know by the way about ourselves and probably also uh, something that uh, all students might be asking is how do we start to regenerate? Can we start by our men, or, or our minds, or emotions, or our facts? So, uh, can you uh, tell us as well how how or, or yes how we can start this regeneration? Which is I, I know that three are important, but the facts, the mind, or the emotions. How can we start? <laughs> Very interesting question. Um, through the Gnostic lectures that we are going to have. This is the first one of this 23 um, conference course. Uh, this is just the beginning, my friends. But you will learn, you will learn, first of all, how to change your way to act. That's the, the first of all. In the second step, the second step is how to change your way to think by comprehension, of course. And the third step is how to change the way to feel. So Gnosis leads us, first of all, changing our way to act. Because in fact, you, it's not necessary that you comprehend completely one psychological defect as anger, or as envy in order to change your uh, behavior to the others, right? First of all, you need to change your way to act. And after that, we need to do uh, a very deep uh, work as in the emotions or in the mind. But the beginning is physically start to make a change even if we didn't comprehend uh, completely um, why even I need to change. But with the common sense I see, there are many things that um, are not right in my life. So I need to start right now for something. And the beginning is the physical change. This is like the, the phrase, the quote that the wise people used to say. So. If you want to change the world, we need to start changing ourselves because we want a better president, better people, good people in the world. But this is a reality that we want something that we are not. So as the master Samael in his teachings say, uh, I want my couple to be faithful, but sometimes we are not. We want others treat as well, but we don't treat well to others. So I understand, and this is marvelous. What are you saying, Osvaldo, that the self-knowledge help us to discover this and also make a change? This is, this is what you, you were saying, that this is the re regeneration that is re recreate another man, another man, another person with a different way of thinking. So this means that every day we learn. So that's why the wise people said that we never stop learning because the person who is living and uh, studying the self-knowledge, he or she realizes that every single moment we are learning from everyone 
and yeah, in front everything as well. So uh, for our students also, please, if you have a question, let us know because at the end or, or during the lesson, we're gonna be answering your question. Right now we are uh, opening this, this, this self-knowledge course and we are talking about our institution, the purpose of the self-knowledge course. Remember that this is just the beginning and on Monday for the students who are interested in knowing more about Gnosis, you can start the course and in the description below, you can uh, sign up in case that you haven't done before or if you uh, already did it, remember that on Monday, it is the first lesson that you're gonna have. And also uh, any, any question that you might have related to the topic, so it's, it's welcome. So what, what else <laughs> do you have for us, Osvaldo, related to the School of Regeneration? Exactly. Uh, maybe a person asks himself um, the history of Gnosis, uh, through the ancient culture. And we can say Gnosis uh, was present in different cultures, uh, Chinese culture, of course, talking about the Confuc uh, Confucio teachings and also Lao Tse teachings. We can find Gnosis there. Also in Hindu culture, of course, because the one of the great cultures around the world was the Hindu culture. Of course, Egyptian culture, Greek culture, Mayan and Aztec culture, Inca culture, and among others. We can say that um, even if we talk about the differences of each or one of uh, these cultures that we were talking, Gnosis was um, always talking about of the same but with different words, different point of view, because we can make a comparison and we can have and find some similar teachings, for example, as the Buddha said, as the Christ, Jesus Christ said, or maybe Osiris said, or Hermes the Magisto in the ancient Egypt. And also what Manco Capa say in the Incan culture in South America. We need to uh, study in the, this different type of cultures and we will find Gnosis in South America, right? So uh, in talking about the, the pillars or fundaments that these same cultures had before, we can talk about four pillars of Gnostic knowledge that we call science, art, philosophy, and religion. We can say all the religions, all the ancient cultures of the world before, in the beginning, in its beginning, they study science, art, philosophy, and religion in an equal proportion. Because nowadays, maybe we can know about Confucio as a philosopher. But what commonly people doesn't know, he was a very mystical man, a religious man, and also a scientific man. We can talk about Jesus Christ as a religious person and leader or master. But also we can say he was a very scientific man because he were healing a lot of people in that times with a medicine, a energetic medicine that is not what we can study right now. Also, we can talk about Socrates that was a philosopher in the ancient Greece, but this man, uh, apart of being a philosopher, a great philosopher, or an artist, or a religious person also. So in Gnostic knowledge, we can study in depth, uh, Paul, these four pillars of knowledge. Uh, because if you analyze the, the definition of Gnosis, that is universal wisdom and knowledge, we can um, also ask us why the universities or colleges 
has this name, university, because this word is coming from the other word, universal. I mean, if you study medicine in a college or a university, also you need a philosophy in order to use that knowledge that you are uh, having in science. If a person study philosophy needs also a mystical or a religious study in order to complete uh, the knowledge that they're receiving in one or this pillar of the knowledge. I, I, I don't know if you've got my point. Uh, or... Yeah, yes, I, I understand that. Of course, these were pillars were the basis of the wisdom that right now and knowledge that we call it Gnosis are important. And also the many, how can I say, the, all the masters that the humanity had, they all had these four pillars in their lives, as you were explaining. We speak about Socrates, that he was a philosopher, but he was also a religious, scientific, and artist. And yeah, I, I, I understand, and I think our students as well. Uh, I would like um, to ask you, for example, why right now all these four pillars are divided? Because, for example, the science right now is, is one, how can I say? Uh, the, the, the studies that the scientific part has, they are divided from the religion. So, for example, the science study the phenomena that happen in their life, but they don't study the religious part. And also the religious part, so, uh, we can analyze and see for ourselves that does not have the scientific part. So many people believe in God, for example, but they don't know uh, how to experiment, how to feel God within ourselves. And most of them don't know, and probably this is something new that God is within us as well. Because the scientific part, as, I, as, as you were saying, the, and, and also I was uh, trying to ask you, why are divided the pillars? Why the science is one part, the religious is other part. Philosophy is another completely a different part and art as well. But as you were explaining, the masters and all the, of the humanity, they had all these four pillars together. And this is what they bring them or gave them the wisdom that they had. So why are they separated as well though? Exactly because during the history of humanity, we start to study only externally these four pillars or fundamentals. In Gnosis, these four pillars of knowledge in self are four keys to self-knowledge. Because if we talk about science, Gnostic science, the laboratory that Gnostic science use is the same physical body. The mind through psychology, for example, that is going uh, to be explained in, uh, after this um, a, a screen. But science and religion, for example, got the division because the man forgot about his unconsciousness. Because if we study science, our philosophy and religion, with our consciousness, with the awakening of our consciousness, we will have, we will have a real knowledge about these four pillars. And not only science in that laboratory or in the nation or in my nation, right? So talking about a little bit, um, some topics that we study in Gnostic science, we can talk about psychology, how to know your psyches, your mind, knowing your negative and positive values that you have in our mind. Anthropology, the truly origin of men, right? Astrology, if uh, exists any influence from planets in the cosmos, in the human being, right? There are many calendars uh, that are related to the zodiac knowledge. And we can say every planet of the cosmos, 
give us an influence. Even if we see what the people from, uh, from the lands, uh, from the states, uh, use in order uh, to do this work, is depending of the type of the moon that, that is in the cosmos now, right? In our solar system. And uh, also we study meditation, talking about science. Why science, why meditation is a science for Gnostic knowledge? Because every kind of science has an objective of a study, right? And the objective of a study in meditation is our soul. How to develop the faculties, the internal faculties of our soul. During the course, we are going to teach you some practice of meditation, not only to make, make the, the mind quiet, but meditation for knowing yourself and uh, solve traumas, complex, etc., etc., etc. Why you suffer for some circumstance, negative circumstance, maybe two, three, five years ago, and you still suffering for that what happened before. How you can uh, solve this kind of negative emotions in yourself. That is possible through meditation. Also, Paul, we study natural medicine, the wise use of plants, knowing that plants are not only um, have a physical existence, every plant has body, soul, and a spirit, as the human being has these three aspects themselves. The dimension of the nature, the superior dimension of the nature, as the astral world, the astral projection, and many, many more topics about science. Also, we study uh, the transcendental sexology, the wise use of the energies that this physical body produced, among others topics uh, talking about science. Uh, or also, we study uh, the other pillars uh, of Gnosis or the Gnostic knowledge during the course. I don't know if there is some question from the um, from yeah. our participants. From yeah, we have, we have some questions here, so I don't know if you want to answer them now or at the, at the end of the. Yeah, the you conference. can you can ask me some of them and then okay. finally. We have three, three questions. Uh, Carlos asks, is there support material to study? It means, uh, I think he's asking if we have mat more material to study in the, during this course. Yes, uh, Carlos and uh, all our participants of this lecture, we are going to give you through the platform you choose in order to study because we need to advance you uh, and tell you that you can study through WhatsApp groups, also through Telegram groups and Facebook groups. Um, in, in these all platforms, you will receive the, the video lesson as this, the lecture by video. Also a PDF, write a PDF uh, with the topic that uh, we are developing and also um, an image, a synthesis in an image that talks about the lecture that uh, each lesson that we have developed. So there are a material through the platform you choose in order to study this. Another question that also Carlos said is how do we get the support? But you already said that if you already sign up for this course, every lessons, Every week you're going to receive a material, PDF, image, and also, well, you can ask your tutor in, in case you want to read more about them, the, the Gnostic books or want to know more about this wonderful knowledge. So uh, also the teacher or the, I mean, 
the structure, the tutor of the of the lesson of the course. I mean, he's gonna have some materials that, of course, he's gonna be sharing to all of you. Another question. And, and that, also, Paul. Okay. Also, I Perfect. forgot to say something. Sorry. Um, there will be one day, uh, once in a week, the group is going to be open in order that you ask many questions you have, many questions about the lessons you are receiving. And our instructor, as you said before, Paul, is gonna be able to answer you about this question also. Perfect. Thank you, Osvaldo. Another question that we have is, uh, Mina Hill is uh, the name of this person, uh, said, uh, besides the theory, uh, would there be practical practice in the course? So the question is, it would be practice during this course? Exactly. We have a lot of practices. Uh, for the ones that uh, maybe has the internet connection, um, we can do lives like this. Practicing meditation. Paul also, Paul right here, um, we're uh, guiding a lot of meditations through this system. And we're gonna have a lot of practice, especially meditation practices, because Gnostic knowledge is 100% practical. Practical. Because uh, if we don't practice, we cannot come proof uh, the real of this kind of knowledge that uh, you, we are giving you. Perfect. This is the question that we have. So you can continue explaining the, the rest of pillars. And if we have another question, I will let you know. Perfect. Uh, just talking about uh, the rest of the fundaments or pillars, we have the art. Maybe a person can think that art is only related to music, sculpture, painting, and topics like that. And of course, uh, we can find a Gnostic knowledge in the signs, in the signs and symbols of uh, this uh, kind of, of art. But you know what? There is an, an art that we are forgetting in life. That is the art of human relations. Human relations is an art. Because the same care of any music uh, needs to have with his guitar or, or piano, etc., is the same uh, care we need to have talking with the others. If we don't do it with talent, with that kind of care, um, a lot of problems, we are going to cause a lot of problems in our life. So human relations between the parents, human relations, good human relations between um, our partners in, 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 in our world, with the society, makes that our life, that we can convert our lives in, in a very art or we can convert ourselves in a very artist, right? In a good artist that is, are using the best key in life to success. I need to say that the best key to success in life is the human relations. Because even if you don't have a lot of money, if you have very good human relations, you are going to success in your life. Okay. Talking about philosophy, uh, we have some enigmas of human existence. Who are we? Where we are? What is the purpose of human existence? Right? It's very important that we make to ourselves quality questions in order to get quality answers. Right? It's very important because if we don't analyze all what you said before, Paul, all what happened in the everyday life, uh, every circumstance in life, I 
don't get, uh, I, I cannot get the knowledge inside that circumstance, right? So why the masters convert in masters in themselves? Because they start to see the life differently, living moment by moment and learning moment by moment of any circumstance. So um, a philosopher is not only the person that teach philosophy in a, in a college or read a lot of books of philosophy. Is the one that apply philosophy in his own life, living wisely. And why we can live wisely? Trying to know in ourselves. Because we, if we know ourselves, we can know the others. We, if we can comprehend ourselves, we can comprehend the others. Otherwise, it's impossible. And finally, we have the religion that is a composite word that means re, that means again. Legion is coming from the Latin ligare, to join, join again. That with the man. And talking about this during the course, we have a comparative study of religions. We know already that nature is an expression of that. Also the mysteries of life and death. Where I been before I born with this physical body. I mean, I 42 years old. <laughs> Where I been 50 years ago. Interesting question. Maybe in India, Maybe. right? <laughs> we don't know, right? But we can know through meditation, through the awakening of the consciousness in order to discover ourselves, the mysteries of life and death, where I'm going to be after I die. This is a very important question in life. The internal faculties of men knowing as chakras, we have practical meditation in order to develop that. Practical initiation in life, an intimate self-realization of the being, not only I realize myself in the economical aspect or in the social aspect, but internal aspect in life. In the other sense, because happiness is a, is a group of realization in many aspects of my life. But we need to start from the beginning, for the most important. That is my intimate self-realization of the thing. So Paul, this is basically this fir uh, first lesson or lecture uh, explaining the fundamentals or the pillars of the Gnostic knowledge. And we invite to all our friends in order to continue uh, receiving the keys in order to know yourself in them and come proof uh, this kind of um, a knowledge that we are that we were talking about through this lecture. So thank you very much for listening to me. Hmm. Well, thank you so much, Osvaldo. Uh, here also we have some uh, question and also comments. Uh, someone wrote, "I am an astrologer and a meditation master." So. I'm so much happy that you are here and you have been listening to this lesson. Anyway, we invite you to continue learning. And when we practice meditation, we realize that as, I, as, I, as we already explained that the knowledge and wisdom is huge. Uh, I think one life is, it is not enough to know everything. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, we have a question that it says, what is the duration of life of life, I mean, as, sessions the person is asking uh, how much time or how long it takes every session of the lesson okay uh this lesson is during now almost a uh, one hour <laughs> but uh commonly uh, the lessons uh, are already uh, recorded and last around 20 to 30 uh, minutes of 
uh, duration. Um, and that's it. That is once in a week. And we will send you through, through the group you choose in Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, or Telegram. Yes. Yeah, so remember that if you haven't signed up yet, here in the description of the video of this video, you can find a link and you can write, I mean, you can sign up and also to participate. This Monday, we start a, a new course. You can uh, participate on WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook, and the which that is more, more useful or, I mean, you have the chances sometimes because of connection. The course that it hits for you, so you are welcome to participate. Here also have another common comment that it says, hello, I have been practicing Vinasana, Vipassana meditation, and I can see that Gnosis is providing an opportunity to witness something which has been created by, by bringing all cultures. So thank you so much for this comment. Remember that Gnosis, this word is Greek, but we all have Gnosis within ourselves. So the, the purpose of this course is developed our inner Gnosis, the self-knowledge. I mean, the self-knowledge Gnosis that we all have. So when we study this, we realize that the, all the cultures in the world, they have these, these wonderful, uh, the same principles. I can say so. I don't know if you want to, to come to say something else about this, about this comment, uh, Osvaldo. Exactly. The person that sent us this comment really comprehend the purpose of this lecture. That's it, because uh, you are practicing a type of meditation. And of course, we are very sure uh, that you are going to complete more the practices that you are doing now or the knowledge that you are receiving even in another school because Gnosis it just leads us to make sense and make consciousness of what we already know. Here is another comment as well that it says very right. It is a combination of all when you were explaining the pillars. So wonderful work. Thank you so much for this comment because this let us know that the topic was clear and also that um, you devote this time to be here. So thank you so much. And here we have, uh, it's a comment, but more or less it can be a question as well. I need to more, I need to know basic basics and assist me. Uh, I think he is asking uh, <laughs> in order to help uh, him. So. Yeah, Osvaldo already invited to this knowledge course. You have the link here in the description of this video. So if you want to know more about Gnosis, about these topics that we were explaining, so this is the invitation. Uh, don't lose, don't miss this opportunity to participate. The, 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 the self-knowledge course are for free. Our, in, uh, our main purpose is just to share this because as we were talking, the knowledge is within ourselves. So the institution is just in charge to share this. Uh, we have here uh, another comment as well. I am 101%. I'm interested to know more and more. So <laughs> welcome to the, to the course. Uh, we have another question that says, uh, sir, after these 23 classes, will be further classes for more courses? This is a question as well that Yes. Uh, asking after the 23 lessons are more courses or how does it work? Exactly. We have advanced courses of Gnosis. Physically, in mostly in South America and some parts of the world, we have Gnostic centers that uh, uh, where you can receive um, physical lectures and practices. But even if you are in a country when uh, um, for now we don't have a physical representation, you can join and enter to the advanced courses uh, that we have, of course. But first of all, you need to approve this first chamber we call, right? The first chamber, the first mm, level of Gnosis. 
after that, if you qualify, I mean, qualifying a Gnostic uh, first chamber or lessons is just related to assisting to the lessons. You will receive a code, a personal code that you can use in order to, to say, I was in the lesson, right? I assist to the lesson. And after the fifth class, the 10th class and the 16th class, we have some questionnaire, some tests that, that you can answer. And if you qualify, that is very easily qualified if you see the, the lessons. After that, you will uh, be a part of the advances course of courses, right? And don't worry about um, now the, the, the platform uh, that you are going to study. Just sign up, as Paul said, and we send you to you, uh, your WhatsApp and through the WhatsApp group that many people right here um, just sent there before. Uh, the, the links in order to study through WhatsApp, through Telegram, or through Facebook. Don't worry about it. Just sing, sign up and we will send you the links uh, in order to do that. Thank you so much, Osvaldo. Another comment, it will take about uh, six months. That means that the course is 23 lessons, uh, once per, one per week. This means that more or less is gonna take uh, six months. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly, because um, we are talking about, yeah, uh, six months because it's once on a week and we have 23 lessons. Yeah. 52 has the year, so <laughs> that will yes. be six. Personally, we have already also taken this uh, this course, and the time that you devote to study this, I can assure you that it's really worth. I mean, because you're studying something for yourself, for ourselves. I mean, and we have time for everything. Remember, some people, or maybe one, some of you, work eight hours or maybe more hours. And I, I'm not saying that it's not important, but the question is how much time do, do you devote for yourself? So we just sometimes get at night to our houses, to our homes, and sometimes we don't have time for ourselves. So the time that you're gonna take for this self-knowledge course is the time that you devote to yourself. And remember that if we don't take our life for ourselves, no one else is gonna do it. So. If Paul Ramirez don't take his life for myself, I mean, no one else can do it. Even if, even if I have a family, even I, I'm, I'm married. So this is the purpose of, of this course as well. Uh, here we have some more comments. I don't know if we, if, if we have uh, time, uh, Osvaldo. Um, yes, uh, we, need, we, we want to be some respectful of, of the time, of your time. So two more questions, Paul. And Perfect. don't worry, we are going to develop more uh, in depth uh, during the course. Perfect. Uh, sir, can we attend advanced course right, right away? Uh, will we get personal inputs? This is the question. Can we attend advanced courses right away? We will get personal inputs. Uh, please explain me the question, Paul. Okay, he is asking if he can enter to advanced course. And, and also, if uh, he is asking, uh, we will get personal inputs. I mean, it's like, uh, will be someone guiding us to this oh, course? Okay. Exactly. Uh, you can, uh, for, first of all, uh, you need to take the first chamber. Uh, with passion, with passions, right? And practicing, and practicing. And don't worry, in six months, more or less, you will be uh, prepared in, or in order to enter to the advanced course. And of course, every single uh, classroom of WhatsApp or the other platform is going to be guided for one uh, instructor. And you can ask all your questions to your structure through the group or internal, huh? mm -hmm. trying to, but trying to practice 
Because remember, gnosis is not a common knowledge that you can comprehend only with the intellect, with the mind. It's practicing. And your, your, own, your own being is going to answer you many questions through meditation, through the analysis, etc. Perfect. The last question then, sir, when will we receive the first chamber? Okay, this is the first lesson of first chamber. The second one, we are going to send it to you the next Monday. But you right now are um, initiating uh, or starting the first chamber, in fact, yes. Perfect. Thank you so much, Osvaldo. We have some other comments. I would like to read all of them, but we will be, we'll, we'll extend the time that we had for this lesson. It was just the introduction, and as you can see, and you could feel it as well, it was this self-knowledge course. So the invitation is, once again, if you haven't, you can sign up. The link is in the video, in the comments. Uh, the link is in the below of this video. And uh, you can be part of this course and also you can invite other friends, family, family relatives that might be interested in this course as well. So remember that it's for free and our purpose is just to spread this, this wonderful knowledge that it, it is useful for us, but we also want to share and, and teach this that can be useful for everyone. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much once again, Osvaldo, for this wonderful explanation and this wonderful topic as well. I want to greet all the support that we also had in this platform. So, and to Arthur as well, that is in charge of this, of the, he's behind uh, essence, scenes as we call it. But anyway, it's important because all the images, pictures that you're watching, uh, it is um, someone else behind this. So we are uh, a big group in the self-knowledge course, uh, the Gnostic culture, I mean. But we want to greet and thank to all of them and all the students as well for your patience, for your comments. We are so much happy that all of you is thankful for the lesson. So that's it for today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Osvaldo. Thank you and to the people that were assisting to this lecture. See you later. See you later.